Greetings. Mm, greeting, greetings, and observe. Oh no, still no. Greetings, observe. The glasses here. I have found four. I believe them to be. I believe it to be the full set. Alani New. Energy drinks. They also had Iron Brew ones. But they were big 500ml cans. And I didn't feel like chugging two litres of energy drink today. So this this will have to do just now. So we've got... Alani. Is anyone going to help me out? That's right, I think. Alani New Energy. Sugar-free. Uh... Biotin, B6 and B12, vegan, gluten-free, and 140 milligrams of caffeine. I don't know what the um, recommended daily intake of caffeine is, but I'm going to assume that one of these will do it. Uh, can we focus up here, please? One can equals one serving. I guess that's just for the information. Oh, here. Um, vitamin B12, that's an energy thing as well. That's 101% of our daily intake. Everything's over except for biotin and panothenic acid, which is under. But by the time we drink four, we'll be fine, I'm sure. I'm about to become the most hydrated I've ever been. So let's just go down the line. Cherry slush. Um, we'll move these back over here. Cherry slush. We're going to try and see the ghost. I don't have fingernails. No ghost. No ghost. Shit. Don't worry, I've saved it. The belly saved it. <laughs> wasn't it? Right, let's try again. So they look clear. I expected this to be red. Clear. I guess colourings and stuff add to the to the shit that we don't want. Sparkling. Oh, it smells weird. It is cherry, but you get a weird kind of like when you buy something... What did that remind me of? Like something out of a cardboard box filled with packing peanuts? And like, yeah, cardboard. It smelled like cardboard, I think. Right, let's go. Tastes like cherry. I don't know where this slush is all about. Can you freeze these, maybe? I guess it would need sugar in it to free, like the like a high sugar content to stop it from actually freezing and going slushy. So maybe you cannot freeze these. Kind of has like a bake well like a cake cherry bakewell flavor so there's cherry slush juicy peach i'm going to be very very energized after this let's see if we can see a ghost no ghost so we're going to assume they're all going to be clear even the cosmic stardust as you can see i'm just doing little amounts Exactly the same colour, sort of like a cloudy. I don't know if it's peach, it smells like like an air freshener or somewhere, something. When you walk into a room that you're not used to and it's clean, that's what it smells like, like a hotel foyer. That's what this smells like. It's 
See if you didn't if I didn't know that was peach. I couldn't have picked it as being peach. It's just like a fruit clean a clean fruit flavor. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Clean fruit. I still think I think cherries in the lead just now. Let's go breeze berry. A little bit of a ghost. A little bit of a ghost. Blue? No. Same colour. Okay. They don't smell that strong. That, I've just noticed that. Hang on. That says peel there. There's no, there's no way you're peeling nothing. It's tricked me, unless someone has peeled it already. Is it scratch and sniff? No. There is no peel. There is no peel on that one. They do, they do linger in the mouth. I can still taste that last one. Coats the mouth. Uh, smell. Yeah, again. What is breezeberry? It's got some raspberry, isn't it? And blue. What's the deal with blue raspberry? Is it just so it can be... Because obviously cherries and strawberries and everything are also red. Is that the only reason blue raspberry exists? Is blue raspberry a different flavour than normal raspberry? These are all questions that we ask ourselves. I don't know. They're all... They definitely all taste different. But none of them are jumping out at, at me at being better. I can't remember how much they were. I want to say they were two pounds, which is high. You'd expect, you expect you kind of want to pay a pound for an energy drink. But the ones that are cheaper tend to be the sugary ones, and they have like 30 grams of sugar. Which is fine for now, but if you want to have both your feet when you're about 45, then I suggest kind of looking for the sugar-free ones. Okay, last but not least, Cosmic Stardust. What is this even going to taste like? I want it to at least be bright purple. It's not going to be, is it? It's going to be the same colour as the rest of them. No, same colour. smell oh that smells like like pick and mix when you go to the pick and mix stand and all the different sweets are all out that's what that smells like you know the ropes with the the white kind of squidginess down the middle that's the best one that has the most flavor Energy drink, a bunch of chemicals. It doesn't actually say. It's worrying that they can just literally use chemicals to make flavor. They don't have to put anything in. Rosins, wood rosins is one of the ingredients. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit loafy to see. Garana seed, Garana seed extract, vitamin B12. Yeah, it has no, um, 
energy drink. It's kind of a sour one, this. I think this is definitely the nicest. Does it taste of anything though? It tastes like ice lollies when they're melted. The bot, you know, like the bottom of the ice lolly. In the, you know, in the ones in the plastic packs when they, they melt in your hand and you drink the bottom of it. That's what that tastes like. Um, That's definitely my favorite, Cosmic Stardust one. And then, it, yeah, really, it's just a, I think maybe cherry next. Okay, we've got to do the bit of them all. While I think of a, a grade. Cosmic Stardust is definitely up at the top. And I tend to like peach stuff, but I don't think that one was that great. It wasn't very peachy. So I'll maybe do that. And I have I have no I've done no research into this company at all. It could be it could they could be anything. But here's my mix up of all four. Cheers. It could be, it could be, an, it could literally just be that. I don't know. It just tastes, like, maybe that is just all three of those mixed together. That would make sense, wouldn't it? That would be the easiest thing for them to do. Um, I should have checked the price. I think they were over two pounds because they were new. When they come down in price, if they're a pound each, yes. What what size are they? They're like a three fifty or something, aren't they? Three thirty. So that's just like a normal, like a Coke can size, made in a different shape, longer. Maybe to trick you into thinking they're bigger. Um, I'd probably give you them from right to left, as my uh. As my recommendations down the right down the line, but yeah, that's the. I'm sure it's a Lani, a Lani new energy drinks. Also, just a shout out to my three thirty. Uh, see if we can zoom out a bit here. my 330 McDonald's water bottle. Cool, isn't it? I think they're doing three different uh, designs. This one was the coolest, in my opinion. So I got one of these. And it'll just perfectly... I think this is 350 mil. So it'll perfectly put a... What did, it, what did we say? These were 350. No, 330. So crack the can... Take a good slug out, pour it in there, top the rest up with vodka or your choice of liquor. And then there you go. You're set for the for the day or for the morning anyway, until you can get back to the shop to uh, refill. So that's my um, that's my review of the Alani new energy drinks. I've just picked up this. So this is my afternoon. The Chris Claremont, uh, Frank Miller Wolverine run trade paperback. Never seen it before. I got it in Games and More Wigan. Uh, there you go. Go get on their Instagram page and check out what they're up to down there. He's got literally everything in his shop. He buys and sells. So get down to him and pick up some stuff. I got an uh, issue of Revolver. Grant Morrison, uh, Dan Dare. I'm going to go see him October the 9th with Frankie Boyle in Glasgow. So if anyone else is going down, come and say hello. I don't know what the deal is, but I th I'm going to take a bunch of comic books to get signed. I don't know if he's doing a signing, but on the off chance he is, 
I'm gonna have a handful of stuff. I've got, hang on, I'll just show you. While we're still here. I got issue one of Revolver. So we'll get him to slap his signature across there or something. That'd be cool. Amongst other things, I'm gonna take down everything. Well, not literally everything, but a handful of Morrison stuff. I don't think Frankie Boyle's done many comic books, so I don't know what I'm going to get him to sign, but I don't really care. Anyway, Alani, uh, new energy drinks. Tell your friends and go for the Cosmic Stardust. Cheers, peace. Take it easy.